Hey everyone, welcome to the Transformer Vault. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas here bringing you another figure review right here on YouTube. And as you can see, it's well lit. So I don't know, I did this kind of for the figure, but it might have a reverse effect on me because this figure is going to be draw dropping. I'll tell you right now, I'm, I was kind of like iffy on it. But before I dive into this review, just wanted to wish my niece a happy birthday today. It's her birthday. Hopefully she's getting a little wiser and she doesn't drive her uncle crazy, the king. So happy birthday, little K. Enjoy your day. Stay out of trouble. I know you're going to be getting a whole bunch of stuff. Your, you know, like little iPhone or whatever the hell you're going to be getting. Just don't let it be glued to your side of your face. That's all I have to say. Anyways, she's a little kid would expect, you know. So anyways, let's get back to a figure review. So what figure review am I deciding to continue to do? If you've been following me all week, you know, I've been tackling... Todd McFarlane's DC Multiverse. I picked up three other figures, well, four in total, until I get my hands on some more. Whatever ones I like, I add it to my personal collections. So this, like always, guys, it's my own personal preference. So if you guys like it, add it to yours. Or if you're thinking about it, you know, should I add this or not? Here's your chance to check out this channel and decide if you're going to spend some of your money. Because these things are like 30 35 bucks Canadian. You know, a little bit cheaper at a Walmart, $5 cheaper. But can you find them? That's the thing, right? But anyways, glad long enough. My niece uh, particularly wanted me to uh, do this figure on her birthday. So there's an extra little birthday uh, present from me to my niece. So here we go. What am I talking about? Wonder Woman 84 Golden armor i'm telling you right now i was kind of like on the fence with this one guys because i was like i don't know a lot of some reviewers it looks good on camera but would it look good in person right so i'm kind of like do i want to pick it up do i not want to pick up here's the other ones for this wave the joker is kind of like what i'm eyeing at i had second thoughts the arkham asylum joker the animated no the harley quinn i'm not too fond of that one is better ones the Batman Arkham looks good, but not, but I don't know. I'm eyeing the Joker, but here you go. Let's get this open because I want to be able to put it in my display case. You can see the other ones over my shoulder. I know it's a little bit bright, but bear with me. I wanted to uh, display them. And the good thing with Todd McFarlane, he always thinks about the collector or the person who loves these things, like the repackage them kind of thing. Uh, they do snap into place. So... That's the good thing, right? So let's get them out because this is this is the figure that I was dying. The wings are separate in the packaging, which I'll show you guys. I'll pull the whole thing out. Let's put that on the ground. So what you get? Oh wow, it's uh, bar locked together. So I think you have to cut the elastic before you can. Oh no, no you don't. So let me show you Wonder Woman herself out of the clamshell or in the clamshell, but just. Herself, she looks good. She looks much better. So that's the one portion, and then the other part is right here, which is smart on his part. There are the wings, the card, and the stand, which I'll be getting out. The wings I will be removing. Let me just uh, free Wonder Woman from her uh, captivity here. You know, I'm trying not to sound a little crazy, but let's see. Oh, it's always twist size which is good i like this i just don't have time to untwist them. i'm just going to cut the wires themselves hopefully i don't put that over oops and hopefully the dogs don't chew on it but let's get her out she looks amazing guys i always wanted a gal gadot uh figure that looks like her you never ever would get a figure that looks like it. Let me put her down here. I'm going to get her wings and free her wings and then do that kind of thing. I'll show you guys what it does look like. Oh, good. Some tape just to hold it down. So, And it's the kind of tape, guys, that doesn't uh, do damage. Like, it doesn't uh, affect the paint or it gets sticky. Here's one wing. I'll show you the wings individually. McFarlane knows how to do wings. So, you can't really see the card because it's all together here let's get uh, shoot, let's get some of this tape out of here i don't like this tape so 
I gotta get the stand, the flight stand. I have to, my God, cut and get out. I don't know how I'm gonna get it out, but I have to get it out somehow. Okay, let's get into the wings. So here's the wings. Here's one of the wings. Look at the detail, guys. Like that's the bottom. Look at the top. It's a nice gold color, man. Like, and there's the, where you plug them in the back and it has articulation that you can up and down and all that. But I can't wait to plug it into her. So that's two of them. So I'll have a chance. I'll plug them in and I'll show you guys what that's all about. Let's get Wonder Woman herself. Ready? Here we go. Big reveal. She looks good, man. There you go. Looks a little bit, a little rosy cheeks there, but it does look like her. If this is how she's going to look in the movie, it I can only imagine how good it's going to look. This is how the back, the wings will plug into there. And of course, the boots, if you guys want to, the boots are a big thing. You can bend the toes, knees, you name it, her wrists. doesn't come with much. It just comes with the wings. So you know what? Let me just, here's the helmet. Let me show you guys the helmet. There's her face. Sculpt. And that's the side. It looks good, man. It doesn't do it justice. All right, let's get these wings. These wings are going to pop in. Got to make sure I uh, put them in the right spot because if I don't, it's not going to go in. Yeah, there you go. They're in. Oh, my God. It looks good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It looks damn good. Ah. Uh. It's kind of a struggle to get it in, but when you get it in, it's in. There you go. Oh, my God. Look. Look at that, guys. Do I have to even say enough? Like, seriously, do I need to say anything else? Look at Wonder Woman. And in the back. She looks like an angel. I'm telling you right now, you can position the wings. McFarlane knows how to do it. Like, like seriously. Look at that. Wow. And you can move them up and down. You can bend them. If you wanted to bend them like that, like a bird does. So you can kind of get that angle. It looks cool. I'm telling you, probably my favorite from all the characters that I picked up so far for the multiverse from McFarlane. And... Just the poses alone, I can't wait to uh, actually put her in a flight stand and do her poses because you can see what kind of poses she can do. Like, oh my God, I can only imagine if he ever does Hawkman or anything like that or, oh, it's going to look fabulous. Look, look, you can just bend it any way you want. Like, you imagine any poses, guys, as Wonder Woman doing her stuff. Like, look, so you kind of get that. So let me just put her back to normal and... Do one more turn around so you guys can see what Wonder Woman looks in her gold armor from Wonder Woman 84. It just makes me want to watch the film even more. Her, she does have a circulation to link back and forth. Her head doesn't move too much up because of her head. So it can simulate, you know, the flight when you do do that. But here you go. One last time. That's her wings. Big wings, man, man. And then again from the front. There you go, guys. That is my Wonder Woman 84 Golden Armor Todd McFarlane DC Multiverse 7-inch figure review right here on the Transformer Vault. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed my other DC Multiverse. There'll be other DC Multiverse figures coming your way once I get my hands on them. There'll even be some G.I. Joe classified figures coming your way as well. So it's just a matter of me getting my hands on there. And of course, we don't call this channel the Transformer Vault if there's no Transformer figures at all. There's Leader Class Optimus Prime from Earthrise coming as well. So I'll be doing that. And of course, NECA. More figures from there. There's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles coming your way as well. So once again, happy birthday to my niece. King's out of here. Like always, stay off the King's throne. And most importantly, take these things out, display them, leave my alone, and I'll see you guys whenever I do. When I can get my hands on these suckers, I'll be posting videos. Until then, be the hell good. Take it easy.